It was a punishing campaign. The Israeli operation in Gaza last year horrified many, even turning some Israelis against their own government's actions. In the aftermath of the Gaza war, it seems to me that there can be no doubt at all that Israel is a rogue state. The Israeli was very happy with the last war. I was shocked living there to see the reaction, the daily reaction to this war. Israeli scholars Shlomo Sand and Avi Shlem have been taking their messages to international audiences, asking how Israel can project peace when their force is so superior in the face of threats from Palestinians and beyond. What about Israel's nuclear arsenal of between 125 and 200 um, warheads? There is no existential threat to Israel. Israel is much, much stronger than any Arab state and any possible combination of Arab states or enemies. But the Israeli government says they were acting in self-defense after years of rocket launches from Hamas that terrorized and killed Israeli civilians. And they challenge Israelis to think again about how best to protect their country. I think some people are challenging Israel's very legitimacy to exist at all. And I think that's one of the problems why we haven't achieved peace. Peace. It's the goal in the Middle East, and yet there is an uncomfortable truth. The Israeli government admits its campaign in Gaza has won it a cautious truce. But achieving peace through violence is a development these scholars say makes lasting peace more elusive. With this deep contradiction that Israel is finding itself for 42 years, occupying another people completely for 42 years, not 42 months, without knowing what is going to happen. And yet even after the UN released a report critical of the Israeli military's actions during its Gaza operation, in one poll, just 7% of Israeli Jews agreed that their government had committed war crimes. Most felt the Gaza campaign had ultimately improved their national security. Only in CNN, London.